Hi, this is Daniel with DanielParsonsMinistry.com. And today's Life Journal Bible reading plan will cover the readings for the 29th of June. And we will go over Amos 4 through 6, Psalms 86, and Titus chapter 1. New King James Version of the Bible reads, Hear this word. Uh, I'm sorry, Amos chapter 4. God's punishments have not reformed Israel. Hear this word, you cows of Bashan, who are on the mountain of Samaria, who oppress the poor, who crush the needy, who say to your husbands, bring wine, let us drink. The Lord God has sworn by his holiness. Behold, the day shall come upon you when he will take away with fish hooks and your posterity with fish hooks. And your you will go out through broken walls, each one straight ahead of her, and you will be cast into Harmon, says the Lord. Come to Bethel and transgress. At Gilgal, multiply transgression. Bring your sacrifices every morning, your tithes every three days. Offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving with leaven. Proclaim and announce the free will offerings for this you love, you children of Israel, says the Lord God. Israel did not accept correction. Also, I gave you cleanness of teeth in all your cities and lack of bread in all your places. Yet you have not returned to me, says the Lord. I also withheld rain from you when there were still three months to the harvest. I made it run, rain on one city. I withheld rain from another city. One part was rained upon, and where it did not rain, the part withered. So two or three cities wandered to another city to drink water, but they were not satisfied. Yet you have not returned to me, says the Lord. I blasted you with blight and mildew when your gardens increased. Your vineyards, your fig trees, and your olive trees, the locusts devoured them. Yet you have not returned to me, says the Lord. I sent among you a plague after the manner of Egypt. Your young men I killed with a sword along with your captive horses. I made the stench of your camp come up with, into your nostrils, yet you have not returned to me, says the Lord. I overthrew some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and you were like a firebrand plucked from the burning. Yet you have not returned to me, says the Lord. Therefore, thus will I do to you, O Israel, because I will do this to you. Prepare to meet your God, O Israel. For behold, he who forms mountains and creates the wind, who declares to man what his thought is and makes the morning darkness, who treads the high places of the earth, the Lord God of hosts is his name. A lament for Israel, Amos chapter 5. Hear this word which I take up against you, a lamentation, O house of Israel. The virgin of Israel has fallen. She will rise no more. She lies forsaken on her land. There is no one to raise her up. For thus says the Lord God, the city goes out by a thousand, that goes out by a thousand, shall have a hundred left, and that which goes out by a hundred shall have ten left to the house of Israel, a call to repentance. For thus says the Lord to the house of Israel, seek me and live, but, not, but do not seek Bethel, nor enter Gilgal, nor pass over to Beersheba. For Gilgal shall surely go into captivity, and Bethel shall come to nothing. Seek the Lord and live, lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph and devour it, with no one to quench it in Bethel. You who turn justice to wormwood and lay righteousness to rest in the earth. He made the Pleiades and Orion. He turns the shadow of death into morning and makes the, dark, the day dark as night. He calls for the waters of the sea and pours them out on the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. He reigns ru ruin upon the strong, so that fury comes upon the fortress. They hate the one who rebukes in the gate, and they abhor the one who speaks up rightly. Therefore, because you tread down the poor and take grain taxes from him, though you have built houses of hewn stone, Yet you shall not dwell in them. You have planted pleasant vineyards, but you shall not drink wine from them. For I know your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins, afflicting the just and taking bribes, diverting the poor from justice at the gate. Therefore the prudent keep silent at that time, for it is an evil time. 
seek good and not evil, you may live. So the Lord God of hosts will be with you as you have spoken. Hate evil, love good. Establish justice in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. The day of the Lord, therefore the Lord God of hosts, the Lord says this, there shall be wailing in all streets and they shall say in all the highways, alas, alas, they shall call the farmer to mourning and skillful laymeners to wailing and all vineyards there shall be wailing for I will pass through you, says the Lord. Woe to you who desire the day of the Lord for what good is the day of the Lord to you? It will be darkness and not light. It will be as though a man fled from a lion and a bear met him, or as though he went into the house, leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Is not the day of the Lord darkness and not light? Is it not very dark with no brightness in it? I hate, I despise your feast days. I, you know, I do not savor your sacred assemblies. Though you offer me burnt offerings and your grain offerings, I will not accept them. Nor will I regard your fattened peace offerings. Take away from me the noise of your songs, for I will not hear the melody of your stringed instruments. And let justice run down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. Do you offer me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness 40 years? O house of Israel, you also carried Sikuth, your king, and Shuon, your idols, the star of your gods, which you made for yourselves. Therefore, I will send you into captivity beyond Damascus, says the Lord, whose name is the God of hosts. Warning to Zion and Samaria. Woe to you who are at ease in Zion and trust in Mount Samaria, notable persons in the chief nation to whom the house of Israel comes. Go over to Cana and see. And from there, go to Hamath the Great and go to Gath of the Philistines. Are you better than these kingdoms? Or is their territory greater than your territory? Woe to you who put afar off the day of doom, who cause the seed of violence to come near, who lie on the beds of ivory, stretch out on your couches, eat lambs from the flock and calves from the midst of the stall, who sing idly to the sound of stringed instruments and invent for yourselves musical instruments like David, who drink wine from bowls and anoint yourselves with the best ointments but are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. Therefore, they shall now go captive as the first of the captives. And those who recline at banquet shall be removed. The Lord God has sworn by himself. The Lord God of hosts says, I abhor the pride of Jacob and hate his palaces. Therefore, I will deliver up the city and all that is in it. Then it shall come to pass that if 10 men remain in one house, they shall die. And when a relative of the, de of the dead with one who will burn the bodies, picks up the bodies to take them out of the house, he will say to one inside the house, are there any more with you? And someone will say none. And he will say, hold your tongue, for we dare not mention the name of the Lord. For behold, the Lord gives a command. He will break the great house into bits and the little house into pieces. Do horses run on rocks? Does one plow there with oxen? Yet you have turned justice into gall and the fruit of righteousness into wormwood. You who rejoice over Lodabar, who say, have we not taken Carnaim for ourselves, but our own strength? But behold, I will raise up a nation against you, O house of Israel, says the Lord God of hosts. They will afflict you from the entrance of Hamath to the valley of Araba. So now I'm going to pull up Psalm 86. And while I'm doing that, just want to remind you that we do the Old Testament once in the year and the New Testament twice in the year. And we have the Psalms throughout the year. And I've got to spell Psalm correctly here. There we go. Oh, the New King James Version of the Bible, Psalms 86, prayer for mercy with meditation on the excellencies of the Lord. Bow down your ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am holy. You are my God. Save your servant who trusts in you. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I cry to you all day long. Rejoice the soul of your servant. 
For to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive and abundant in mercy to all those who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods, there is none like you, O Lord, nor are there any works like your works. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. I my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forevermore. For great is your mercy toward me. And you have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. O God, the proud have risen against me. And a mob of violent men have sought my life and have not set you before them. But you, O Lord, are a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, and abundant in mercy and truth. O turn to me and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant and save the son of your maid servant. Show me a sign for good that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed. Because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. So now the New Testament verse for today is Titus chapter 1. While I'm pulling that up, um, we have hundreds of spiritual messages on my blog, danielparsonsministry.com. And please also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Daniel Parsons Ministry. And please comment on what you have read today. And I will read now the Titus chapter 1, the New King James Version of our New Testament scripture for the day. Greeting, Paul, a bondservant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledgement of the truth, which accords with godliness and hope of eternal life, which God, who cannot lie, promised before time began, but has in due time manifested him word through preaching which was committed to me according to the commandment of god our savior to titus a true son in our common faith grace mercy and peace from god the father and the lord jesus christ our savior qualified elders for this reason i left you in crete that you should set in order the things that you are lacking and appoint elders in every city as i commanded you if a man is blameless the husband of one wife having faithful children not accused of dissipation or insubordination for a bishop must be blameless as a steward of God, not self-willed, not quick-tempered, not given to wine, not violent, not greedy for money, but hospitable, a lover of what is good, sober-minded, just, holy, self-controlled, holding fast the faithful word as he has been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and convict those who contradict the elder's task. For there are many insubordinate, both idle talkers and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole households, teaching things which they ought not, for the sake of dishonest gain. One of them, a prophet of their own, said, Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, lazy gluttons. This testimony is true. Therefore, rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men who turn from the truth. To the pure, all things are pure, but to those who are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure. But even their mind and conscience are defiled. They profess to know God, but in works they deny him, being abom abominable, disobedient, and disqualified for every good work. So that's the end of today's scripture reading, my friend. I appreciate your uh, support, and we'll have you on another video tomorrow. Bye for now.